Welcome to AmineAcademy.com. In multivariable calculus, let us discuss about angle of inclination of the plan. Look at this figure. Here in XYZ plan, two plans are intersecting and make an angle of theta is given here. In that, suppose the first plan is, uh, is on the XY plan, means uh, it is parallel to xy plan as well here the n cap vector is normal to the second plan and vector k is in z axis means parallel to z axis now the angle of inclination The angle of inclination of the tangent inclination of a plan of a plan is defined as Defined as angle theta, which is uh, between zero to ninety degrees, but in between zero and ninety degrees. And you can write by instead of, and you can write pi by two. Between the given plan. in the given, given plan and xy plan and xy this is the definition of angle of inclination of the plan now we can write the formula for this angle of inclination in terms of cos theta equal modulus of n vector dot dot product of k vector over modulus of n vector into modulus of k vector which is further equal modulus of n vector into k vector over modulus of n vector because k vector modulus of k vector is 1 because it's unit vector so this is a cos theta value from that we can find the angle of inclination let us do one example problem of this here look at this example Find the angle of angle of inclination of the tangent plan to the ellipsoid x square over 12 plus y square over 12 plus z square over 3 equal to 1. Now at the point 2 to 1 here at the point 2 to 1. Now the function f of the function f of x comma y comma z equal given ellipsoid is x square over 12 plus y square over 12 plus z square over 3 minus 1. The gradient of f, the gradient of f f at point at given point of uh, 2 to 1 is done by gradient of f of uh, x comma y comma z equal here 
means first partial derivative of first term with respect to x means uh, 2x over 12 plus 2y over 12 plus 2z over 3 that is further you can write x over by simplification x over 6 plus y over 6 plus 2 over 3 z not z it is uh, this first x over 3 with i vector this is j vector it is now x uh, instead of x y z you have to write it x uh, that is x over 6 that is uh, 2 x over 12 plus for i vector plus 2y over 12 j vector plus 2z over 3 k vector therefore you can see gradient of f of at x comma 2 2 1 means you are also play substituting the points of x y z here this is uh, 12 By simplification, it is x over x over six. That x value is one. Next value is uh, here two. That is two over six i plus y value really also two. That is two over six j plus two over three. That is one. That is k which is further equal 1 over 3 vector i plus 1 over 3 vector j plus 2 over 3 vector k. Now, because delta f, therefore, delta f of at 2 to 1 is normal to the tangent plane, is normal to the tangent plan so and vector k is normal to the xy plan and vector k is normal normal to the xy plan because vector k is perpendicular so it is normal to x y plan that is angle of inclination given as cos theta equal gradient of f at 2 to 1 into dot vector k modulus over delta f of 2 comma 2 comma 1 modulus which is equal here here uh, vector k dot uh, with gradient of f 2 to 1 is 2 over 3 only because here k vector only other vectors are 0 here 2 over 3 over square root of 1 over 3 square plus 1 over 3 square plus 2 over 3 square by simplifying we get it have square root of 
2 over 3. Therefore, therefore theta is cos inverse of square root of 2 over 3 by using calculator it gives approximately 35.3 degrees. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.